Okay, we've got a battery and some new spark plugs in. Uh, the old spark plugs we broke when we took them out to fill the cylinders with some light oil. So we've shot that light oil out, and now uh, it's just a matter of seeing if this thing runs. We haven't fired up this Jeep in two plus years, so let's see what happens. Wow, fired right up immediately. Okay, so it's July 30th. My deadline to meet the city ordinance is tomorrow. But because it's Friday, I think I probably have the weekend to get everything into compliance. So let's just look at where I stand. So my driveway is an absolute disaster. I mean, there are tools everywhere. <laughs> there's a power steering pump on the ground, a pulley, there's a water pump, a brake shield, a brake rotor. Hell, let's go on a little tour of my driveway, see what else we find. We got some shock absorbers off a of Jeep Grand Cherokee. Um, a wheel, that's normal. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? A bunch of tools, rotor, wheel hub, um, another wheel hub over there, a fender, a tire, there's a fender flare. Let's see, what else? We've got an axle, we've got a control arm, a couple of control arms. Um, there's a skid plate over there. Uh, there's a grease gun over there. By now you get the point. This is just a weird life I've been living. It's just very bizarre. Um, anyway, let's get to it. Let's go through them one by one. J10, looking good. Grand Cherokee, looking good. Registered, functional. A little bit of a power steering leak on that J10. I'll take care of that at some point. Jeep Comanche is in good shape. Okay, so the black Jeep Cherokee. All the suspension and steering parts are done. I've installed a uh, new rotor, some new brake pads. I'm gonna do that on the other side. Um, lots of new parts here. And I've also installed the fender. It's on there, it should pass inspection. It's just, I don't like the hood, I don't really like the gap. It's just too big of a gap here, so I'll have to make some adjustments later, but this should be enough to get me through inspection. I have an appointment with a mechanic in like a couple of hours, so I'm hightailing it. I'm installing the wheels. This thing's gonna sit on its suspension for the first time in a while. And then I have to tighten all of my control arm bushings. Because you always wanna tighten your bushings when you're at ride height. Okay, so I'm in my black Jeep Cherokee. I just got back from the mechanic. They signed it off. Um, they, the repair to the fender and the axle were both apparently satisfactory. I mean, the fender doesn't look pretty, right? It's just a got primer, it doesn't have the fender flare on it. And the axle works great, everything looks good under there. So now I just need to take it to an inspector and um, if the inspector approves it, then I can get this thing titled and registered. And then this thing is good as far as the township is concerned. So wish me luck. All right, here it is. This is the salvage recertification form here. Um, it's been inspected by an officer and it has passed. So I should be able to get a salvage title in my name and then register this, this car. So this car was totaled before. Uh, I bought it from a dealer that had just bought it from an insurance auction, which is why if you look at the title, you'll see um, USAA Insurance Company owns it or uh, totaled it. So yeah, this will be interesting. I've never done a salvage title, so interesting. This process is exciting because you can get cheap cars if you buy salvage. Just gotta be careful, make sure uh, it doesn't have any unrepairable damage but mine didn't seem too bad and then you know the, the person who wants to buy this from me wants this to be his daughter's first car so you know when I showed you all those new new parts under underneath the front end that's kind of what I'm thinking if, if, you know, if it's a 16 year old girl's gonna drive this gotta make sure that all the tie rods and ball joints and brakes and all that stuff uh, is mended yes it's the buyer's responsibility to make sure this is safe but come on it's gonna be your first car. This thing's gotta be awesome. She's gotta fall in love with Jeeps, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my part. It's ready to be registered. What else? There's a Jeep Cherokee in the backyard, there's a Mustang in the garage, but this here is really the only delinquent. The Golden Eagle Jeep Cherokee. It is the last vehicle that I need to get done by tomorrow or maybe Monday. And the problem is it's not even close to done. I mean, look at this. 
still have the damn tarp that I'm sure is what got me in trouble in the first place. There's no engine in it. The new engine that I purchased, I have pretty much gone through it. Let's have a look. It's always risky when you buy a used engine uh, that's allegedly been rebuilt. You don't really know what you're getting into. Luckily, I take, you know, I'm not seeing much here other than under the valve covers, but what I am seeing is good. Uh, no sludge. Things look really nice down here, honestly. Um, the pistons, look at those. They look so nice. They're clearly new pistons, so the previous owners claim that these are 30 over uh, pistons and large pistons. Almost certainly true. Um, everything looks great. Even the rods look like they're new. Um, yeah, it just it's, it looks really nice in here. I'm very happy with that. Um, so I'm removing the rear main seal. So I just used a punch, and I punched one side of the rear main seal out. You can see it's protruding from the other end right there. So I'm just going to grab a pair of pliers here and just pull the rear main seal out. So this seal basically goes between the engine and the transmission. So there it is, half the rear main seal. And I'll be installing a new one and uh, all new pan gasket and all that. This thing should not leak. And if it does, oh man, I'll feel like an idiot. All right, I'm installing the valve cover gaskets. The old valve cover uh, was leaking, so you can see I've painted the valve covers AMC blue. Paint job is uh, <clears throat> not great, but hey, I'm not, I'm not a painter. So I just removed this intake manifold. It weighs <laughs> like 60 pounds, if I had to guess. My back hurts from lifting it, which is ridiculous because all it is is an intake manifold. All it has to do is send air into the engine. There's no reason for that to weigh that much. It, it makes no sense. But anyway, um, here is, you can see the seal. This is the gasket right here. So they call this the valley pan gasket because uh, it's in the V or the valley of the engine. I'm going to remove this gasket and you're going to see some lifters. Oh yeah, check it out. Those, those are the push rods. The push rods go on, are activated by lifters. Those are those cylinders that the rods go on to. And then below that is the camshaft. So as the camshaft rotates, the lobes push on some lifters and the lifters push on these rods and the rods push on some rockers, which push on some valves and open them. It's exciting stuff, really. Anyway, I'm taking this off because I'm gonna install a new one. Ooh, look at that. Wow, that's beautiful. Hopefully, tonight or tomorrow, Friday, the deadline, I will install this engine. And uh, I think I'll have until Monday. So this weekend is going to be turnt, as the kids say. I should also mention that I sold the Grand Wagoneer. Uh, truck showed up. I gave the man the keys. He drove it onto his truck and went away. Um, someone bought it from Italy. They wired me money and they picked the car up. It was like, it required zero effort. Anyway, you can cut to that footage of that Grand Wagoneer heading on its merry way. Okay, so the truck is here to pick up the Grand Wagoneer. I gotta say, it's running pretty well. This guy's driving it. He's only got front brakes. I'm sure that feels great. <laughs> it kind of bucks. There's definitely something wrong with, I don't know why it's bucking, I don't know, carburetor or something. Check it out. The Wagoneer headed to its tow truck. So that's gone. We're good to go. So the Land Rover is no longer here. I moved that to a safe spot where I think uh, the owner will be able to get it at his leisure. So yeah, um, I've moved quite a bit of iron. Okay, the valve covers on this engine were orange, which is totally wrong for an AMC engine. I realize it's not priority given my deadline, but 